Hi, my name is Philip Molina and I'm your instructional technologist. And today I'm gonna to show you just a few quick little things you can do with a device called a Mimeo. What is a Mimeo? Mimeo is this little white device right here that attaches to your whiteboard. What this will do, it will turn your whiteboard into a smart board. So this program that we use is called Active Inspire. And you would just simply take your pen and double click on Active Inspire to launch it. And then once Active Inspire comes up, you'll see that there's some features right off the bat for you to use. Active Inspire use, uses things called flip charts. Now a flip chart is just like a uh, PowerPoint, if you will. Uh, you just have charts that you build, slides that you build, where you can create your lessons. So Active Inspire, uh, once you get the program and install on your PC, you can go out and you can create a free account with Active Inspire where there's lessons that's already done for you at every grade level. There's quizzes and there's lessons that are already there for you. Uh, they're editable, so you can go in and make ch the changes that you need to make uh, to tailor it to what you're teaching that particular day that are free for you to use. Uh, there's activities, desktop annotate. What you can do with that is if I simply click on desktop annotate, that brings me out to my desktop and close this window. Now that I'm on my desktop, I have my tools that are here. So I can come over here, select my pen, and I can write on my desktop if I wanted to. Come back, I can erase that. But the one of the things that I can do here is I can open up files, I can open up Google, and I can search and so forth. And, and with that, to simply go back, I just hit my annotate button. It takes me back to the beginning of my Active Inspire session. Within Active Inspire, again, I can write. But one of the great things that you can do with Active Inspire especially uh, if you don't like using your document camera, is that you can load PDFs. So I can simply come up to File, Import, and I would say a PDF. And it's gonna bring up uh, my file directory. So I'm just gonna go to my desktop and I'm going to go ahead and select a PDF that I have available to me. So here is um, print, and I'm going ahead and just say keep it as the original. And it's going to import the PDF for you. So what you can do with this is you can change the best fit. You can change it. You can make it bigger. You can make it smaller, keep it at best fit. But what I can do, I can come in, I can write on my PDF, I can select a highlighter. I can highlight certain things. But the great thing about doing it that way is that you can have that PDF up here. You can use that. Students can come up and write. So instead of using your document camera and having your students come over to your desk, <coughs> excuse me, come over to your desk and write, they can come up here to the board. And one of the great things about using Active Inspire and using this Mimeo, it keeps you in front of your class. You don't have to sit over there at your desk and be away from everybody. You can actually be in front of the class and actually give the class the pen <clears throat> and have them come up and work problems and solve problems, so forth and so on. One of the other great things that I love about uh, using this Active Inspire, they have this great tool that's called a revealer. And what that does is it blanks the screen for you, blanks it out, but I can come up and just simply drag and now I can only reveal the stuff that I want the students to see at that time. So if I have a PDF, if I have a worksheet, and I don't want them concentrated and worry about what's down here, I can simply use this revealer tool and we can work up here. And then as we need to, we can progress down. We can just get rid of that and we're back here. There's a lot of different options, a lot of different things you can do with Active Inspire and this Mimeo, but I just wanted to give you just a quick little taste 
of some of the stuff that you could do with it, and hopefully you would want to use it as well. If you're interested in having a Mimeo, or if you have a Mimeo and you didn't know they can do this kind of stuff, please reach out to me, contact me, put in a help box ticket. You can book an appointment with me, um, and I'll be more than happy to come to your campus, to come to your classroom, and help you with this. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you're having a great year. God bless. Talk to you guys later.